everybody we are getting an old school car video today people so um you know typically i try not to base too much stuff off of the preseason because after all it is the preseason you know starters are kind of going half ass and um especially and especially the final score because it's just rookies and under and you know undrafted guys you know practice squad guys trying to make the team and um you do see a lot of bad football, so to me, this ending score really doesn't matter to a preseason game so much. And also, just with the th just with the fact that the uh, the three quarterbacks that the Jaguars have in camp, I would imagine I would imagine they're going to win one more, if not both, of their preseason games remaining because you know a lot of guys have undrafted or late round picks playing. You know, we got three guys in here, and well, two of them are competing for a backup job. So, um, but um, they're actually are some first impressions and things in this game that I think are worth talking about. So, um, let's get into it. Um, first off, I'll start with the obvious one. Trevor Lawrence, you know, he was in two drives and, um, it's kind of what you want to say. Personally, I don't think, I think Trevor should be playing as little as possible. He honestly has nothing to prove, but, um, he looks like his old self, basically. Um, you know, before the injuries last year, dude ref definitely looks like himself. He looked solid. Went three for four, 42 yards on a touchdown. You know, it looked good. It got ETN and in, in the passing game involved, which I think, um, which I think he even said that uh, he wants to do more of. And I hope they do because that's definitely, you know, as a running back this day and age, you got to be able to catch everything. You got to be able to catch. You got to be able to run. You got to be able to block. So um, ETN obviously is good at all of that. So. I hope we do see that more. Um, Brian Thomas, what a fucking catch, dude. That catch was absolutely ridiculous. Like, it was just a long, it almost looked like a long punt. And dude basically pulled that in with the guy grabbing his face mask. And there was no car, but it was all right. Um, definitely an awesome catch. Like, I keep telling you, Trent Baalke knew what he was doing by not bringing back Calvin Ridley's sorry ass. So, um... So, dude. So yeah, dude made a hell of a catch. BTJ is going to be a problem, but you know he. Do I think he's going to win Offensive Rookie of the Year? Absolutely not. Because if uh, Josh Allen's rookie season taught us anything, you know they don't give awards like that to Jaguars players. So, like seriously, Brian Thomas Jr. could find a way to put up fifteen hundred yards in the season and with like double digit touchdowns and he still won't win rookie of the year because the troglodytes want to give it to like a media darling like Kayla or somebody like that but um and then you know and uh speaking of bum receivers we got rid we got rid of you know Gabe Davis who's replacing Zay Jones sorry yes he had a nice catch um Parker Washington looked very good looked very good he had um he had a, he had a nice punt return. He had he had a catch on the day. Like, dude, really looks like he's putting in the work and trying to get better. So, um, I think uh, he will. So, I think he's. I think he'll be more of a contributor this year. Obviously, someone I'm personally rooting for to make the roster, and you know he should. He definitely should because you know he showed a lot of flashes last year. Um, defensively, um, or, or we'll stay on offense too. Um. Devin Duvernay had a nice little touchdown grab. Um, it looks like with with him, he can do more than kick returns. Um, it won't be like Jamal Agnew in previous years, where if he's not doing a kick or a punt return, it's and actually does play some offense, it's not going to look completely sickly. So, you know, shout out to Duvernay for the big catch. Um, what the hell is that? Oh, and what the hell is that guy's name? Um, the guy from Villan the undrafted running back from Villanova, Jalen something, I can't think of his last name, but um, he had a couple solid runs, and uh, I'll give some credit where credit's due, um, Tank, Big Tank Bigsby, um, he looked pretty good, he looked like he's cleaning up a lot, a lot. you know, he's cleaning up the fumbles, had a lot of nice, had some nice runs, he had that good kick return, which, why he was doing kick returns, I'll never figure out, but, you know, he was, and he made it look good. So, and you know, that's good to see because, you know, we spent the third round pick on him. He's somebody that's on, you know, pretty much, pretty much all, if not all of Jaguars fans shit lists for, you know, what he was doing last year. So that's good. So yeah, that's, it was, uh, you know, obviously it's not going to dictate what he does the 
rest of the season, but, you know, that was encouraging to see. Um, defensively, Christian Braswell obviously stood out, you know, I don't know if he's going to get away with that strip, with that, with a strip, fump, with a, taking a strip, or the strip that he had, then ran it back for a touchdown, I don't know if he's going to get away with that, with NFL starters, but, that was good to see. He was making he was making a lot of good, but besides that, he was making a lot of good plays at defensive back. I thought uh, Terrell Edmonds stood out. Um, what's the guy? Breland Breland speaks the uh, defensive player of the year from the UFL. I think he had half a sack. And uh, Yasir Abdullah, uh, my guy, Yasir Abdullah, somebody who I really think should have played a lot more than he did last year. But you know, for whatever reason, they wanted to give Caleb on Chase on another chance, which. You know why? I have no idea, but whatever. He's gone. Uh, he had a sack, and hopefully, you see Abdullah play some more this year. Um, let's see who else. I mean, that's all I can think of with with standouts. Um, obviously, um, towards the end of the first half, and then the second half, you know, we had the game on live on this past episode of Soon World. So if you did, so if you missed that. We're reacting to everything. Go check that. Out. Go check that out. You should be watching that fucking show anyway because it's a good ass show. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, and for some re- for some re- for some insane reason, the Jaguars are collecting safeties. Like I get Andrew Wingard's injured, but like you know, we we've signed Adrian Amos. Well, first Darnell Savage, but he's playing more in the slot. And, you know, we had our two starters, um, Antonio Johnson and um, Andre Sisco. But, you know, we're, we're collecting safeties for some reason. Uh, like, they're rare Pokemon. But um, we signed Adrian Amos, Terrell Emmons. And now, just recently, um, we're bringing back an old face from the Saxonville days. Deshaun Gibson is now back. Um, he was somebody, I think, that was very underrated in that whole era like obviously you know guys like Galen are going to get a lot of the attention but you know Deshaun Gibson that 2017 season I think quietly had five interceptions so you know I always but so yeah I always liked him I you know I know he suspended the first six games for some reason but you know hey could be that could be a play you know down the stretch that if there's injuries or stuff you get him back healthy you know that could help us out, so, you know, hey, welcome back, Gip, but, um, that's pretty, that's pretty much it, that's pretty much it, um, anybody else that stood out to you, let me know how you feel, but, um, I'd say from first impressions, the Jags looked pretty solid, like, you know, obviously, we're not gonna base the, base how the season's gonna go off of this, but if first impressions are anything, this was a good first impression, I thought, anyway, but, um, that's it, that's all, people. It's been your boy Jagging Off. Go Jags, do what's all I die. I'm gone.